What's going on YouTube? My name is Genes, bringing you guys more ranked single battles for Pokemon Sword. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. Click that big red subscribe button and let me know in the comments section down below. So guys, what do you guys think of the new layout? I think it looks sick. I think it looks so clean. I love it so much. But let me know what you guys think of it. Things I could improve on or things you guys like about it. And also, let me know for this new thing. Question of the day. Let me know what is your favorite Pokemon to use on the rank battle ladder. For me, it's Extra Drill, Toxpec, and Galvant. So I think they're just such good Pokemon and a lot of fun to use. So guys, in today's video, we're actually rocking out with this Gallade team right here. I'm actually very excited to show it off. This team is sick. It can do some work. It is very versatile too. But we're rocking a Chewy Scarf Dragon Pole in the front spot with Infiltrator, which actually you can run, you can hit through like uh, light screens and all that, substitutes, disguises, all that good stuff. Then we got our weakness policy, Angie Slash right here. He can do some absolute work if you can set off that weakness policy. It's night night. Like, dude, just, you could sweep out teams with that weakness policy off. Then we got this red card, Dreadnought, making his debut to Gene's YouTube channel. We haven't used a Dreadnought yet, but red card actually say if somebody hits me, they have to swap out. They swap out and it throws in a random Pokemon, which is pretty cool, which is pretty cool. So if somebody tries setting, is trying to, like, set up, like, and their stats are all the way up, I'll let them hit me. They can swap out and they'll lose all their stats. So that's very good. Then we're rocking a Life Orb Mimikyu. A Citrus Berry Corviknight, which we use on the channel a couple times. Things an absolute beast. Same thing with the Mimikyu. They can do some work. And then for the Pokemon that I am most excited for, we got this Leftovers Gallade. Rocket Substitute, Psycho Cut, Close Combat, and Swords Dance in case we want to set up and start sweeping out teams. But guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, not the code is at the bottom of the screen. I will also leave a link to the maker of this team. But without further ado, let's get on with this video. Here we go, hopping into match number one. This guy's rocking it. Hydreigon, Gastron, Sylveon, Extra Drill, Mimikyu, and Corbin. I think I rocked this team before. I think I played that team before, which is pretty dope. Okay, with all that going on, who are we going to rock into? Who are we going to rock into? I Let's go into the Glade. Let's go Glade. Glade could rock that front spot. I can see him maybe leading that Gastron, possibly that Hydreigon. So do we actually lead the Glade? We could lead our Choice Scarf, Dragapult. Actually, let's not. Let's not lead our Choice Scarf, Dragapult. We're actually going to go with our red card, yeah, let's go with our red. We're going to lead with our red card, Dreadnought. Go into the Glade afterwards. Let's actually lead with the Glade. Let's actually lead with the Glade. Potentially set up a Sword Dance. And then go into our Dragon Pole. Rocking it in the back end. I think this is a smart play to do. Let's go here. Who do I think he is going to lead? I don't really know. This is, this is a tough call. But I think Glade is a safe spot. We can potentially set up Sword Dance and rock out. But yo, guys, if you guys would like to catch more content from me, go down the link in the description below. Link to my Twitch, Jeans25 on Twitch is here is there go over there if i'm online if i'm live right now come hang out if not hit that follow button and swing by later this guy's gonna roll out into the gastron into the first spot which again is fine by me i that's fine i might just set up a swords i might just set up a swords dance this thing is potentially assault vested which is fine it's not a big deal we're gonna go into a swords dance we're gonna start setting up we're gonna start setting up i can see this thing potentially going for maybe like a i don't even know what this thing is gonna go for let's see let's see what it does but dude Glade is sick dude the design, the design is unreal. Like, dude, Karate Master, it looks like. Dude, it looks unreal. Like, definitely one of the cooler looking Pokemon, in my opinion. Like, for real. He's going to withdraw. We get a free Sword Stance, baby. Free Sword Stance. And the Sylveon's going to pop out here. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. We get a free Sword Stance, and we should outspeed this thing. Glade is a fast dude. He's fast. Here we go. Sword Stance is setting up here. Beautiful. We're going to go into a nice little Psycho Cut, or do we go into a sub? What's the plan? What's the plan? Let's go into a Psycho Cut. Let's just start off with a Psycho Cut. I was going to Dynamax. We're going to go into a Psycho Cut. How much damage can we do on this thing? Nice! Nice damage. He's going to go into a substitute. That's fine by me. You don't have enough HP. And now you're dead. Now we are... I'm predicting maybe the Withdrawal here. Do I Sword Stance again? I'm predicting maybe the withdrawal. We're going to set up our substitute and start leftover healing. He's going to go for a quick attack. That's fine by me. Oh, that did some work. That did some work. Too much work. A little bit too much work. Maybe the bad call by us. <laughs> maybe the bad call by us. Forgot these things do rock quick attack. Yeah, it's fine. We rock out into our substitute. We will outspeed though. So this is good for our next turn. We're going to go straight into a psycho cut. Go straight into another psycho cut. We could have sword stance there. This thing's going to go for a quick attack. Take out our substitute. Okay, that's fine. This thing's just rocking. What, can we... Oh, I was gonna say, did it eat it up? <laughs> but that's fine. Kind of wasted our thing. We could have been full health, plus two. But there goes that Sylveon. Bad call by us, ladies and gentlemen. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. That one's on me. <laughs> but our leftovers are gonna start coming into effect. Who's this guy gonna lead out or go out into? That's my question. 
See, I would love for him to go out into that Gastrodon again. We'll go into a nice little close combat, baby. Let's see. Yes, the Gastrodon does come out here. We're going to go into a close combat here. Do some work. Do some work. I believe... No, what am I doing? What, 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 what just happened there? Close combat. Yeah, it does a lot more. But it's just going to lower our defensive stats. But I think we're going to die either way. So let's roll out into the close combat. Do some work before we go out. We will outspeed this thing. No problem. Yay. Take him out. One tap him. Yo. Galade, knock it off. Galade, stop it, buddy. Stop it, Galade. Woo. That's how it's done, dude. That's how it's done, yo. We are rocking out with this team. I knew, I knew I was hyped for this Galade. I knew we could potentially just sweep some teams. Which we have potential sweep. Sweep alert. Sweep alert. <laughs> Potential sweep alert. <laughs> we have a sweep alert right here going off into effect. Extra drill is going to pop out here. Um, If we outspeed, dude, that's game unless this thing is focus ash. Just saying. Just saying. Unless this guy's going to hit the bounce of boogie go out. We are rocking. Are we rocking our dreadnought? I think we are rocking our dreadnought. Battle was canceled. Sweep. Sweep. Galay coming up huge, dude. Set up that sword stance and just run that team. Let's get it, guys. Here we go, hopping into battle number two. This guy's rocking a hat train, a Manda Buzz. Ooh, that thing is sick. That thing is sick. That is actually a very cool Pokemon. He is rocking a Mimikyu, Hydreigon. What is, I don't know what that Pokemon's called. I do not know what that Pokemon's called. He's one of the Fox Pokemon. But I don't know what it's called. And he's rocking a Fire Rotom Pizza Oven, dude. With all this said, I'm going to be bringing in my Glade. I might leave my Glade in the front spot. That could be the play call. We're going to be bringing in our Glade. Because if he leads with that, what's it called? That hat train... I think he might leave with that Hatchreen. Not sure. He might be trying to roll a Trick Room team. But I can see him leading it with that Rotom, which would be fine by me. We can do some work on him. Okay, so we're going to leave with the Glade. Who else is coming in? We could go Dragapult at Mimikyu. Ooh, Dragapult Mimikyu. Sounds like the play call. Right? Let's go Mims. Mimi. And then, no, let's go Angie Slash. Let's go Angie Slash with this. Let's roll out with the Glade, Angie Slash, and Mimikyu combo. Let's do it. Let's do it. I maybe should have went with my Dragapult if he rolls that Mimikyu, but it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. But I think he's leading that Rotom. We could potentially set up another Sword Sands. Could you imagine if we go back-to-back -back sweep? That'd be nuts. That'd be nuts. Because I don't see his uh, Rotom doing work on us. I don't think Overheat will do too much damage to us. Volt Switch, we can eat it up, and we'll just roll into a Sword Dance. Our speed is through the roof. Let's see who he leads. Show me the Rotom. Nope. Hydreigon does pop off here. Hydreigon is going to pop off here. And what are we going to roll out, out into? That's a tough call. A tough call here. -na 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 -na. Close combat. We could start off with a close combat. That's what we're going to do. We're going to try to get this Hydreigon out the way. We're going to roll into a close combat. We should outspeed it. Unless this thing is Choice Scarf. Let's see. Let's see what he does. Maybe we should have Dynamax. Maybe we should have Dynamax. I don't know what he's going to roll out into. I, oh, dude, I should have predicted the hard swap. I should have predicted the hard swap went into a sword stance. That probably would have been the smartest play. But instead, we're rocking out with a close combat. And if he plays it smart, he would swap out hard. And then he would, what's it called, eat it up and have our defense just lowered. And then we could just swap out. Because then our stats go back to normal. So it's not too bad. It could be worse. It could be worse. Let's see. Let's see, dude. Look at that Glade, boy. Sick. Sick. Glade is awesome. Let's go. Let's keep rolling out here. Come on. You're going to go. How are you struggling to go first move? This is like your first move. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> but yo, guys, check out this layout, though. This layout is sick, dude. I'm loving it. I think it's so clean. I think it's so slick. I really do like it. He's going to go with a Draco Meteor. He missed. Close combat. Free close combat coming at you. One tap. Bye. Bye-bye. Gallade is so strong, buddy. The lead is so strong, dude. Our special defense and our defense is going to fall. So, with that said, we're probably going to hard swap out. Let's see what Pokemon he's going to roll into. Dude, he's so strong, man. He's so strong. <laughs> he's going to roll out into Rotom. Uh, give me no reason not to Sword Stance, buddy. Let's go. Sword Stance coming out. I was going to hard swap because I know the uh, overheat's probably coming. So we could have swapped into the Mimikyu. So, Sword Stance going to set up here. We're going to set up a Sword Stance here. Okay, so Sword Stance, he's going to go with the Will-O-Wisp. Dude, we might one-tap this thing. <laughs> we might one-tap this thing with a Psycho Cut. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Don't you dare tell me we're going for back-to-back -back sweeps right here. Psycho Cut coming out here. Or do we go for another close combat? Mm. Lowers our defensive stats, but still. 
Yeah, dude, let's go into a close combat. Let's go into a close combat. We will outspeed. Let's see, close combat. Take him out. No, we don't take him out. He's gonna take us out here. One hit, no problem. Let's see what he goes into. He's gonna take us out here, which is fine. Foul play, we'll, we're dead. Our defense is low as buns. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> okay, still, dude, I thought we were just gonna one tap and just rolling through. That would've been awesome. Um, who are we gonna roll out into? Dude, I should be going to here. I say we go into our Angie Slasher, considering this thing is rock and foul play. We could just go for a Shadow Sneak. But no, we don't. I don't want to go into a Shadow Sneak, because if this thing outspeeds us, we could be in defensive form, eat up a shot here, and go into a Shadow Ball. Well, yeah, we'll let this thing outspeed us. We will let this thing outspeed us. Go for a foul play. Do it! I want you to, buddy! I want you to. I can see this thing potentially going for a Dynamax. Actually, no, not with his Rotom. Overheat. Wow! Could have been a bad play call for us. Eat it, buddy. Eat it. Nice little eat there. We'll be able to take him out here. We are weakness policy up, which is fine. We'll eat this up, and then we can go into a shadow sneak. We can go into a shadow sneak, do some damage on the next person. So then our Mimikyu can roll in and potentially win us this match, which would be dope, which would be dope. Okay, so bye-bye, Rotom. You're done. Our weakness policy has just been triggered. So we're going to do some work. Like I said, we're going to roll into a shadow sneak, probably no matter what, unless we 100% know we're going to outspeed his next Pokemon. Unless I 100% know I can outspeed it, I will roll into like a Shadow Ball or something. Let's see, a Hatchreen, we will outspeed this thing. We will outspeed a Hatchreen. That should, that could potentially be game. We will outspeed a Hatchreen, I believe. We probably should have Dynamax, but we'll save our Dynamax for a Mimikyu. I think we're outspeeding this thing. Hatchreens are slow. Come on, show me the outspeed. I'm, this thing's gonna Dynamax. This thing is definitely gonna Dynamax try to soak up that one hit. Maybe I should've went for a Shadow Sneak play uh, smart. But I believe we will outspeed. I believe we will. Because these things are usually rolling Trick Room. And they will set up a Trick Room and all that good stuff. So they're usually a slow Pokemon. Come on! Come on! What you want? This person gonna scoop? This person gonna scoop? What are you doing? We still have... Is he gonna scoop? He's gonna Dynamax. Like I said, he is gonna Dynamax. So this is actually nice. We can waste two turns here. He will take us out here. We still have our Disguise. So we're chilling. We are chilling. And we got ghost moves. So we have an advantage. We have a huge advantage rocking with our Mimikyu here. And he's life orb too. Okay, okay. Do we outspeed is the real question. This is what I want to know. Yes, we do outspeed. Like I said, do some work. Oh, oh. GG, baby. That's GG. That is going to be GG. We are rocking Shadow Sneak on our Mimikyu. We're, gonna, we're just going to Dynamax just in case. We will outspeed. We will outspeed. And that will be the game. Let's get it, guys, dude. This team is awesome. I love all the versatile you have with this game, with this team. It's so versatile. You can do a lot of work, dude. I especially love that Glade. Like, that Glade is so good. He's he's easy to set up with, too. Because he's such, like, he's such an awkward typing that, like, a lot of moves don't just slap on him. So you can always rock in with him most of the time in that front spot and get off a, uh, hey, what's it called? And get off a sword stance. Because usually they're either going to hard swap out or they're going to hit you. Oh, the battle was canceled. Let's go. Like I was saying, or they're going to hit you. And you just eat it up. Get a sword stance and out speed. And then it's just night night. But let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hop into the third and final match. Let's go. Hopping into the third and final match for this video. This guy is rocking a Elden Goss, a Gyarados, a Darmanitan, Duraludon. Ooh, Duraludon, Cinderin's, and a Grimmsnarl. And a Grimmsnarl. Okay. Okay. I see him leading that Grimstarl. I really do see him leading that Grimstarl. We might want to roll out into our Angie Slash and possibly set off that weakness policy. That could be really good to play. We're definitely going to be bringing in our Dragapult. Yeah, Dragapult. He's rocking T-Bolt and Fire Blast, which can eat up a lot of his team. And then we go in with that Glade. And then we rock out with that Glade. That is the final decision, baby. Final decision right here. Let's go, dude. Glade is so strong. Like, I'm bringing that Glade in for that Duraludon, because it can do some work on that Duraludon if he brings it. If not, it does work in general. It is just such a strong Pokemon. But we are leading that Inky Slash in hopes that he leads that Grimstarl, because we can set off that weakness policy. Do some work. We can absolutely just start murking on this fool. But let's see. Let's see what it does. I can see him going into a bulk up with him too. But there is that Grimmsnarl. There's that Grimstarl. Hopefully he goes into like a foul play or something. Sets us off. We can start teeing off on this fool. Start teeing off on this fool. We're gonna go straight into a sacred sword here. I can see him going into a bulk up right off the bat. Right? Darkest Larry, it's gonna pop out here. Eat it up, buddy. Eat it up. All day. All day, baby. Give me that. Give me that weakness policy, baby. 
That's what I wanted. That is what I wanted. Now we gotta do some damage to this thing. If we just bring it down the level, we'll just go into a shadow sneak. But still, let's do some work. How much damage are we gonna do? I don't know if we're gonna do too, too much. Let's see. You slap him up. Do some work. Okay. He's probably gonna take us out here. Do we go just straight for a shadow sneak? Let's go into a king shield. But what is this thing rocking? That's the question. What is this thing rocking? We're gonna go into a king shield. Just soften up here. We're just gonna be playing it safe. He's gonna be playing it safe. Let's see what he's gonna go into. He's probably gonna go into another Darkest Lariat. That's what I'm thinking. He's gonna go into another Darkest Lariat. But dang, dude, I wish we would have did more damage on him. Let's go. He's gonna. Oh, you biscuit! You biscuit! Rocking out into a reflect. Okay, okay. Then do we just go for a shadow sneak? I said we go for a shadow sneak. Get the first hit off on him, and we just go out anyway. Because <laughs> he's gonna set up this reflect shadow sneak. Well. Do a little bit more damage to him. That's fine. We can rock into our uh, Gallade and potentially just finish him off. Let's see. Ooh, wee! Look how much damage. <laughs> Dark Slayer is going to take us out. Like I said, that's fine. Dude, that move looks so cool. That was originally, um, what Pokemon is that? Incineroar's original move. Like, that was his move. Darkest Slayer. It was like, oh, it's Incineroar's move. But who are we going to roll out into? Uh, we could. I don't want to roll out into a close combat. I think we're just going to roll out into a T-Bolt. Do we roll out into a T-Bolt? We will pass through barriers and all that. Is that what I want to do? Is that what I want to do? I say that is what I want to do. Let's do it. Even though I think it can potentially eat that up. I think we're chilling. He's probably going to go into a fairy move. But this is my play call. This is my play call. T-Bolt coming out here. We will outspeed. Well, it's not like he's rolling Trick Room or anything. We are Choice Scarfed also. So can we get the Paralyzed and potentially just save us from death? Or can we get the One Shot? I was going to Dynamax. I was going to Dynamax, but I feel like it's not the play call. I feel like if we Dynamax, we will take a lead. But then he's just going to wipe us out in the long run. So we're going to wait for our Dynamax. Come on, Grimstar. Go ahead. I hope he hard swaps to like a Gyarados or something. We just give it the slap skis. Night Screen's going to pop out. Yo, we hit through these barriers though. We have infiltrate on. We hit through all these barriers, which is awesome. T-Bolt's going to pop out here. Yay. Do a little bit of work, and we should outspeed again and be able to take him out. We should be able to take him out. One reason he did outspeed was because of the screen, right? We hit through him. Know that. Nice little call there. He probably should have just went into, like, uh, what's it called? A, uh, a hit move. Here he goes. He's going to roll out into this Elden Goss, which is fine. We're going to go straight into a Dynamax. We're going to go straight into a Dynamax. Max Flare popping off here. Dude, we hit through all these light screens. This guy does not understand. He does not understand. And we're not rocking Clear Body. We're rocking Infiltrate, which is huge. Goes through substitutes, all screens, and all that stuff. Oh, it's so good. It's so good in certain situations like this situation right here. And we're going to pop off on this Elden Goss right here. This is exactly why I bought the Dragon Bolt was for this Elden Goss and that Gyarados. Like, I knew we can roll out and stomp on him. Let's go. We should outspeed, right? Yeah, we do outspeed. Eat him up. Take him down. Come on. Do some work. The next one will do even more work. This thing is a tank, though. I gotta remember. Gotta remember. Is this thing rocking a fairy move? I can see this thing potentially rocking a fairy move. Cotton Down's gonna roll out. That's the only thing about not being clear body. But we are choice scarf. We should be able to uh, still outspeed. He's gonna lead seed us. No! Lead seed me. What you doing, dog? What you doing? He's just going to try to keep eating up these shots right here. I'm hoping we can get a crit. This thing is leftovers and leech seed. Jesus! Absolute unit right here. Absolute unit. But our speed did drop. But like I said, I think we should still be able to outspeed here. I think we should still be able to outspeed. We're going to rock into another max fire. Considering we are droughted, there's a drought going on. We will deal more damage with our fire moves. Let's go. Let's roll out here. Another max fire coming at you. You ain't outspeeding me. Nice. Nice damage. We should be able to take him out in the next turn. It's a beautiful cotton down. It's going to lower our speed. But that's we could still outspeed this thing. What's he going to go for? A Giga Dream. We'll eat that up. We'll eat that up! But dude, this thing does get a lot of health back. We're leech seeded, leftover, and that Giga Dream. Like, Jesus! But I still like, think we're going to take him out here. Right? Dude, leech seed is so good. I think leech seed is so underrated. I really do think it's so underrated. It is so good. You can set that up. If you get a free, free leech seed, oh, it's night night. But I'm saying this takes him out here. Hopefully we still outspeed. Because he, if he goes for a Giga Train, we possibly cannot get him. We still do outspeed with our Choice Scarf. He's probably so mad. Take him out. Come on. I need him. I need him dead. I need him dead. Are you serious? Like, dude, what kind of game is 
is this? <laughs> is he's literally on one HP, bro? He's on one HP. Like you can't be serious. You can't be serious. I can't stand this game. Can't stand it. Now we got a rocket to a T bolt, which he will probably eat up. No problem. Ah! Ah! I'm hoping we can take him out here. Dude, look how much leech seed actually brings him up. Jesus. Jeez! Because we are choice scarped into our, uh, what's it called? Into our T bolt, which is not very effective. Come on! Do it for me, Dragon Pole. Get a crit or something. Get a crit for me. Come on, buddy! You can do it! Come on, come on. Hopefully he hard swaps. That'd be awesome. That would be dandy if he hard swaps out. You piece of work. You piece of work. I hope he knows that he is a piece of work. We're just gonna let our dragon pole probably fall out. There's no need to us uh, uh, set up or go into our what's it called? There's no need to go into our, our glade. This thing's gonna heal up. We're just gonna keep trying. We're just gonna try to get that paralyzed with the T bolt. That is the plan. We're just gonna try to get the paralyzed with the T bolt and then roll him with the glade and potentially just finish off this match. Let's see. T bolt's coming out here. This thing might outspeed us now. Let's see. Come on, get the paralyzed, baby. Get the paralyzed! Wow, is this thing gonna go? Like, I don't know what you're trying to do here. Come on, hard swap out for me. Hard swap out for me. That would be a beaut. That would be a beautiful scene for me. <laughs> if he hard swaps out. He might just stall this game. I think he's just gonna uh, go with the stall with the Elden Gloss. With all this. Let's go. T-Bolt's gonna pop out here. Come on, show me the paralyzed. Show it to me. Bruh, hate this game. Cotton Downs coming out here. We're a choice scarf into this. Now he knows. He's gonna stall us out here. He's going to stall us out. Potentially go all the way into full health. I'd say we just uh hard swap. Yeah, let's hard swap out. Because we can save the what's it called. We can totally save the dragon pole. He is choice scarf. He can eventually do work. Maybe if he's rocking the characters. Like I'm saying, if he's rocking that characters, we can one tap him up with a T-Bolt. No problem. Ooh, we! It's a close one, guys. This is a close one. We're gonna hard swap into our Galeen and go into Psycho Cuts and stuff. Or we could set up a little bit of a Sword Stance. We could set up a Sword Stance. That could be the play call. Let's go. Set up a Sword Stance. We will outspeed. I say, I say we do set up a Sword Stance. We shiny, too. We shiny. Okay, what are you gonna do? He's gonna go into Giga Dragon, like I said. Oh, I thought he missed for a second. That's some good damage, man. It does do some good damage. Are we still leech seated? Or is that only for my dragon bolt? We have leftovers rocking on here. We're gonna heal up just a teensy bit. I think he's gonna go into a leech seed. I think that is his play. Yeah, let's roll out into a sword stance here. I'm thinking sword stance could be the play. Because this thing is an absolute unit. Ice Queen does wear off. Oh, which is beautiful, actually. Both of them should be done by now. I believe so. But we're gonna go straight into a sword stance. He still has his Dynamax. I gotta watch out for that. Sword Stance is gonna pop off here. Cling, cling, cling. <laughs> Let's go. Attack is plus two. We're gonna try to set up with this Gallade. Potentially win this match. He's gonna lead seed us. Miss it. Woo! Did we go for another? Did we go for another? Let's go for another. Let's do it. Let's go for another Sword Stance here. It could be play of the year. We gotta go for another one. Go plus four on the Sword Stance board. Then we could go for a substitute. A substitute could be huge. So if we could take up two two turns, that'd be awesome. So Swords Dance gonna pop off here. We go for a sub. Do I risk it that high? Leechy, miss it, miss it, miss it. No! Okay. Um no, Leechy will still do work under the sub. So that could be a bad play call. I say we just go straight into it. I say we go straight into either the psycho cut or the Let's go straight into the psycho cut. We're plus four on the attack board. We gotta go into a move. We gotta go into a move and start taking this thing out. That's the plan. This is a long match that Ellen Goss is beast. I know he's holding something that he doesn't want to go out into. That we can probably merc on. Let's go into the Psycho Cut. Critical. Dude, if we get a crit. Because critical hits land more easily with this move right here. He's gonna protect. That's fine. We are, we are leftovers. Dude, I should have went for another sword stance, bruh. <laughs> oh my lord. Could you imagine if we would have went for the sub? Could you imagine? That would have been so clutch. So he's just trying to get the full health. Or he is at full health, but he's just trying to wear us down. Um, we're gonna go for the psycho cut. Ready, watch. We're gonna go for the psycho cut, then we're gonna go for the sword stance. Cause he's gonna do something. He's gonna hit us with a Giga Drain here. We're gonna get the psycho cut off on him, and then he's gonna protect. 
That's what I'm I call. Can we take him out? Can we do some work? Yes! We get the crit too! Just like I said. Yes, Gallade! My boy! My boy Gallade right here. Now he's gonna rock out into his last Pokemon. We are choice scarf with the Dragon Ball. He's gonna Dynamax here. We can potentially do some work. Potentially do some work here. Okay, who's he rolling out into? Who is he going into? The Raladon! The Raladon! Oh, jeez, dude. We can do some work. We can do some work. Go straight into a close combat. Got him. He's going to Dynamax. He's going to Dynamax. We're going straight into a close combat. Potentially doing some work. Dude, did Gallade just come up clutch? Come on, show me, please. Plus four attack. Could you imagine if we went into another Sword Stance when it hit that Protect? Oh, my lord. That would have been gross. We would have been maxed out on attack plus six. Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Feel it, feel it! Ba -ba -da -ba -da. We should outspeed, right? No, we are cutting down. No! Don't take me out! Please, 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 please! Yes! Yes, Galen! Yes, Galen! Z Fence is gonna raise. Can we do it? Can we do some work? Come on, do it! Yes, dude! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Dude, I'm so hyped. Kalein is an absolute unit, yo. Absolute unit. That is how you do it. This guy's trying to stall us out. Yo, we gonna roll in, set up Sword Dance, and go to town on you. Are you kidding me, guys? Are you serious? Did you guys see how good that Kalein was? Absolute unit. It was so good in every battle that we did and up against every single Pokemon that we battled. So this thing is an absolute unit and can do work in all different types of battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, make sure you show it by smashing that like button for me, clicking that big red subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Also guys, if you would like to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. I will leave a link to the maker of this team also. You guys can also answer the question of the day, which is what is your favorite Pokemon for the ranked battles, and you guys can also let me know whether you guys like the new layout, because I'm seriously hyped for it. It took me a little bit. Let me know what things I need to improve or what things you guys like about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.